Yo, what's up guys? We got Pokeyam here with some Are You Suspect Test laddering because, uh, you know, there's always suspect tests and I'm getting close to a road to top 10 finish. But Are You Suspect Testing Zoroark, which I kind of agree with, I guess. I'll have a video on that uh, with Flame Victini, hopefully, if not later this week, early next week. It's just a little bit tough to schedule with him, but I want to have a video where we discuss our full thoughts on Zoroark and uh, with somebody that mains Are You. So... Yeah, anyway, my boy Elberi Bont passing this team. It's a fire team with red cards, spikes, Galisopod lead, uh, Mega Bayonet for that Prankster Destiny Bond, Shell Smash Cloister, Combine Life or Best Beyond, uh, Spec Swallow, and then the uh, Assault Vest Como. He said he uh, top 20 on the ladder with this in the RU Suspect test, which is like, okay, definitely enough to get me Rex as well. Uh, not quite sure how I feel about Bulletproof versus Soundproof. Because Swallow is annoying. Opposing Swallow is annoying. But I mean, I have Prankster, Destiny Bond, I have Ice Shard. I got First Impression, which doesn't <laughs> get him out anyway. So let's just go ahead and look for some battles. You guys can leave your thoughts on Zoroark down below. I'm not sure why people don't actually like Aryu as much. Like, this is something I've noticed always since Aryu was released. Uh, that it's just been something that people aren't the biggest fan of. I, I'm not entirely sure why. Uh, Galaspa is really cool in this game. It's actually, wow, really good. Checking Gator. Salazzle, Jeff. <laughs> I've been uh, I've been exposed. <laughs> That's the Whitney. Uh, Cloister can shell smash up on Dog, which is cool. I'll just lead off with Galisopod. Pretty easy first impression. Stone Edge is a little bit annoying too. I have Liquidation though, so let's do a ton of damage for Cloister for the long run. Uh, as he is just going to get up a Stealth Rock, which I'm okay with. So, um, I would get up a Spike here, but I wish I can go for First Impression more than just a f turn after. Uh, but, we'll go for Liquidation. Not like Blastoise really comes in, and if Blastoise spins, I get up a Spike. Uh, Blastoise also needs a decent amount of speed to outspeed me, which isn't that rare. But, my red card should be able to get him out of there uh, as he goes for Toxic. And, I'm assuming he's just going to go for Rapid Spin right here. Uh... I do have Bayonet though. I'm actually going to keep that mod alive uh, just because it does threaten Salazzle, the dog, and whatnot. I'm assuming he doesn't have Foresight. He could have it though. Uh, but first things first, we're just going to go for knockoff. I actually like Bayonet a lot in this case because it really does weaken the Blastoise and he doesn't have good switch-ins to my attacks in general considering he's just running offense. Swell is also really good now. It's faster than his entire team. I'm assuming it's Scarf Shaman though, but it is faster than his entire team. And knockoff just gets me a kill uh, as Rhyperior is going to go down and we are going to be able to keep these spikes. So this is really nice as well because the multiple turns of Toxic are great for Prankster Destiny Bond. But I don't think Shaman actually knocks me out with Seed Flare just because I'm max HP. Dog could come out, Salazzo could come out. Salazzo would be interesting. I do like that Blastoise is severely weakened though. Like Cloyster is just looking that much better. Like it really is. Plus I have Prankster Will-O-Wisp on this thing, if I'm not mistaken, but I do, which is great for Dog. Alright, so Dog comes out. Now I could go for Destiny Bond and probably get rid of him, but I'm thinking I just Shell Smash up on this Mon and win the game, uh, especially because he'll be burnt right now. So I don't mind going down to the Styles and Arrows, and I actually don't want uh, to go for Prankster Destiny Bond. I'd rather go for just Shadow Sneak, just for, <laughs> they still have that? Halloween's done. <laughs> I like how they still have that though, but I'll be able to shell smash up now, Blastoise dies, um, Shaman goes down, Salazzle goes down, only thing that doesn't go down is actually the Feraligator, but I'll also be able to live a hit from it unless it has sewer power. Yeah, I'll be able to eat a hit from Feraligator unless it has sewer power anyway, and I think I can even afford to actually just shell smash up again, that way I don't have, I even have to go for Rock Blast versus anything, I'm gonna do it, why not, because I live his hit. Thousand Arrows is going to do not that much, considering the burn and whatnot. That's a good chunk. But unless Gator actually is Aqua Jet, we're good to go. I'm not just go for Ice Go Spear here. Knock out something. He actually goes directly into Gator, which I don't agree with because the Spike is going to be able to get rid of Dog, and Gator is going to go down here. That crit did not matter. Uh, the Spike should get rid of the Dog at 11%, and yep. I understand that what he was trying to do, he was trying to extreme speed me after, but I went for plus four, so it's just 100% game. Unless this is quick attack life orb shame, it actually has to be quick attack life orb to knock me out too. 
because a regular quick attack won't be able to knock me out, but we'll be able to spear through you as well. Yo, that little spike really did come into play though. It really helped me out. Like, I don't even have to go for Rock Blast versus anything. Good game, Jeff. All right, let's look for another one. Cloyster putting in some work. I really, you guys know how I feel about spikes early on. I didn't even contemplate switching directly into Espeon on the rocks from my period because while rocks would have been nice, chipping away at Salazzle and whatnot, I think Spike was okay. Especially because Glassbot is one of those cool mons that I really wish First Impression flinched. If First Impression, uh, Impression, Impression, if First Impression would do what this little Jirachi here does all the time. I forgot about this fan art, by the way. I just picked random fan art from my uh, folder. That'd be so much better. All right, so that is a threat. I think it just dies to First Impression, though. I didn't even... I'm pretty sure it actually just dies to First Impression. Let's find out right now. A one, a two, a three, a three. How many licks? Maybe I remember that commercial. Yo, some of the, the Tootsie Pop commercials were clean. What was that robot one? I think there was a robot one. I feel like there was. Goliath Pot, custom sets. Jolteon, do you die? <sighs> you, you do not die. Alright, so Jolteon's a giant threat. Uh, Baina is a great lead in general to just to have uh, because I get off. I'm going to go for Shadow Sneak right here. Uh, just to get off the chip damage to put him in... Re oh, stop doing that. <laughs> scaring the hell out of me. <laughs> uh, so, that's Specs damage for sure. We can go Swallow right now. As my opponent goes out into Porygon. Trace is Prankster. Ew. No. I can see Toxic or Thunder Wave coming out. We're going to double out to Espeon. Just to see what my opponent wants to do. Like if he goes for a status move. Thunderbolt's also a great move right there as well. Yes. So... This actually puts in a good amount of work, and considering I take every hit that he wants to go for, I'll just... Never mind. I was gonna say I start boosting, but him having Prankster is so annoying. I don't know if I beat this now. But he doesn't have a Psychic Switch and something dies. Hit. Thank you. Alright, so Swallow's gone. That would have been a pain. That actually got a kill as it came out, like always, versus me. Um, magic Bounce on Porygon. If it traces that, that would be annoying too. I definitely want to spike up because his own cloister is a pain as well. But champ is here. Yeah, we'll sack this to the knockoff to be able to get out my spiker. Even if you're flame more, red card will get rid of the uh, emergency. Red card basically forces you out first. And Swallow is looking a little bit better now. Nah, 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 get out. Get out. <laughs> uh... Not the best for me, but like I don't have a good way of dealing with Porygon with this team. But he doesn't switch into this well either. Like you really don't switch into this well. I can actually. So the the cool thing is here, emergency exit is gonna force Porygon to get out, so he won't be able to recover. So that's actually really really cool. Get the hell out of there. <laughs> get out of there. Don't you ever recover on me ever again. All right, so maybe I can win now because I can see myself shell smashing up and winning. Uh, if Cloyster comes out, I think I go for Dragon Tail, just in case it's Focus Sash. Jotown comes out, though. It's a little bit odd. We'll just Dragon Tail, whatever wants to come out, assuming we do connect. Kind of hoping it's Porygon, because I would like a little bit... You shouldn't go Porygon, actually, because I 2 it KO you. If Cloyster comes out, I'll always Dragon Tail, too. Why would you go that? I 2 it KO'd you. Like, I actually 2 ako would that, so I wasn't sure why that ended up coming out. Machamp is going to come out, though. Facade. Knockoff doesn't knock me out. I shouldn't risk paying it. Hmm. I'll go Goliath Spot on the hit. Yeah, I, I don't want to risk my Bayonet right there. And Porygon is so weakened that it actually goes down to Boom Burst. And I can afford to go Swallow here. And... I think U-turn on the expected Rhyperior coming in. If Swallow comes out, if Porygon comes out, that's fine as well. I don't know if you'd actually stay in here, which is why I'm thinking, like, I don't think you should stay in with Machamp when you have a Rhyperior there. So you have Rhyperior, but you opted to go for the... I mean, it worked out, I guess. But I don't understand why you went for Bullet Punch there when you have Rhyperior. But I guess because Jolteon could come in and Revenge kill me. Maybe my opponent's just trying to get rid of my, uh, my chances to... Shell Smash. Which definitely can happen. Oh. 
playing scales is my thing. It shouldn't knock out my champ, but it will be hopefully a double down, like knocking him out with burn. Or, yeah, with burn damage, it should knock him out, I think. Nope. Hmm. Just not the case. And bullet punch is going to come out now. So we're definitely going to go out into our, uh, our bayonet. Mainly because, again, I can get that Prankster attack off on, hopefully, uh, Jolteon, like Prankster Destiny Bond, if he wants to go for uh, any attack like that. He ends up going out to Porygon, which is fair. Knock that boy off so you don't have an Violite. I don't know if he'd actually Toxic here, but I'm going to Destiny Bond just in case he actually Thunderbolts. Please <laughs> Thunderbolt. I need this Mon to die. <laughs> It's funny because it actually doesn't even help me, in a sense, because Jolteon gets to come out after. So it doesn't actually help me. But I still have to Shell Smash regardless, like, like regardless of what happens, I still have to Shell Smash. Like this Thunderbolt, I, I know I'm going to die to Thunderbolt with my, uh, close, that did so much damage. That actually did so much damage. Like I know I'm going to die to Thunderbolt, but I do have to Shell Smash up on this thing. Unless... Jolteon dies to Cloyster's Ice Shard? 32, 38 on a crit. 47 to 56. I think I have to go for the... Because I always die to Porygon's Thunderbolt, correct? Yeah, I always die to Porygon's Thunderbolt. Alright, so I gotta go for the crit. If he toxic right here, so help me. I don't understand the Bullet Punch play with my champ. But I, this is typically a turn that I lose my second battle uh, <laughs> whenever I do an RU suspect. All right, so Coaster, are you trying to do your thing, buddy? And it did not. All right, so let's go ahead and look for another game. A little bit annoying that my, I lost my Espeon to the... Uh, ooh, cool team. A little bit annoying that I lost my Espeon to the... To the... This could have Thunder Frame to the Thunderbolt para, but I definitely want to spike up here. It's like 100%. Uh, his defogger could be Swallow. I don't mind you home closing either. Because Emergency Exit will get rid of you regardless. We'll Liquidation just to get some damage off. Alright, so I mean my red card will get you out and I'll be able to see what you're forced out into first. So that's really cool. <laughs> and now my Swallow is just going to start clicking Boom Burst. We got a spike up already. Go ahead and show me your switchings. You don't have them. Everything is gonna die. Like something like this spike up ensures that everything dies. So it was a problem, man. So it was definitely a problem. That's why I love red card on that mon. So Salazzo so has been dropped. How do I not lose the line? I have Prankster Destiny Bond on Bayonet, so I'm good. I'm pretty sure Durant dies too. I'm not even gonna bother calculating. I think you die. Yeah. I think that spike made that you die. Don't ever. Tell your friends, bro. <laughs> see, if you see a Swallow walking up in a block, bro, you better walk away. If you see him in a corner, you better walk away. All right? Because Swallow is loud. You tell your friends. Everyone, you never saw the Boom Burst live with PK and Gator? You never saw the Boom Burst live with PK and Gator? Glyspot's a great lead. Have fun. If you didn't watch that Boom Burst Live, excuse me while I put my phone charge in the corner over here. If you never watched that Boom Burst Live, you should know. You can't mess with these Boom Burst Pokemon. They crazy. A uh, really cool team on my opponent's part. Just some nice balance uh, with uh, this as well. So I like the last spot because it actually threatens a bomb stone as a lead. He leads Registeel. I'm going to get a spike. I'm assuming he's just going to size and toss. He actually Stealth Rocks in the face of an Espeon. That's fine though, we just click Liquidation here. Yeah, I'm not... <laughs> I'm not getting up no spikes anymore, bro. That did nothing. Do people just rock in faces of Espeons though? Keep clicking this. Alright, so Emergency Exit is going to be activated, which I don't actually like. Alright, Bayonet, I choose you, buddy pal. Like, that spike is really good, and the fact that I can just knock off everything is really cool, but... Ouch. 
Knock me out. <laughs> so this boy is going to be able to toxic me. Uh, but I do want to get rid of its item, because Swellow can actually just win the game on its own. Or at least my Shell Smasher can, rather. I don't know if you'd actually stay in here, considering like you could bounce back the will by going Zatsu. So I'm just going to knock off again, just in case you want to try and bounce it back. Uh, it goes Minior, so that's a, a great... Because I'm able to... Uh, Knock off its white herb and it's activate. It's gonna be activated basically. And we can just sneak here. That actually killed. Oh, stop showing me the animation. But that actually killed, which is insane. Hmm. All right, Como, I choose you, buddy. I choose you, my friend. Side dog can outrage, but I can get a shell smash up with this mon. Hopefully win. I mean, he has like 50 million mons that beat me. <laughs> yeah, we'll go Cloyster. I actually like Cloyster because if it goes Zatu, I might be able to outspeed it. But mainly if it goes to the dog, I do. That's the only mon I get a shell smash up on. At the same time, I can go Golisopod and get my auto emergency exit. Basically gets to show me exactly what he's bringing in. And I get to switch out because of it. So that's pretty cool. All right, come on, come on out, buddy. So this works. I'll just flamethrower here. It's funny because, like, why am I so slow? This mon is a problem. Like this mon in its own right is a problem. I'll go Espeon just in case he wants to toxic me. Come and Espeon can win. I need to keep Como uh, healthy enough because it deals with Registry and whatnot. Just hits me with the uh, Scald, unfortunately. We're going to hit this. Uh, if he goes Registeel, we're going to hit this Registeel as hard as we can. I go Zatu, so I get off a uh, Shadow Ball on that, hopefully knocking it. I mean, I will be able to knock it out, but hopefully if he goes Registeel, like, it's enough to 2 a KO Registeel, which I kind of doubt it is. Take a Zelfie. I like his name. Takes a Zelfie. It's a play on words for selfie if you don't get it. It's okay. It's all right. We're not all there sometimes. <laughs> Fine. But yeah, basically, uh, once I force him to Mega Evolve with his Obama Snow, stop showing me that animation. It was cool the first time. Once I force him to Mega Evolve with his Obama Snow, and the dog has to shell smash up to beat. Uh, the dog has to attack me to beat me. Galisopod gets off a of first impression, which is pretty cool. So, Thousand Arrows. Cloyster, I choose you. I take a band of thousand arrows. And if he stays in, I get a kill after that. I'm going with the fact that Swellow is going to be able to click Boom Burst really soon. That's what I'm going for anyway. That's the type of sweep I'm going for. That's a 100% choice ban. And now we get to Icicle Spear and pretty much to a KO, whatever's coming in. Should be Registeel? Nice. Um, oh, hopefully this 2 kill is Registeel. I don't know, man. That's a, uh, actually, yeah, that is a 2 kill on Registeel. That's amazing. That's really cool. That we actually got rid of Registeel there. So I can see myself boom bursting through his team, but I have to get rid of the Obama Snow. And I can also see him extreme speeding through my team. Assuming it does 25%, which it should, considering the Bandit Thousand Arrows did that. Who am I loaded first, though? Why? How'd you go my Lodic first? Like, yes, you knock me out, but you let me weaken your my Lodic. How fast is my Lodic? First impression can knock out the dog, I'm pretty sure. No, this is my play. Clanging scales here. I'm pretty sure first impression knocks out the dog um, at the percentage you'll be at. Yeah, Bomb Snow comes out. I get to click Flamethrower versus that. He doesn't know. Oh, he was fast, but nah, not today. Um, the perks of being a salt vest. <laughs> you should have went to the dog first. AV. <laughs> he said X. 
I'm pretty sure Galisopod knocks you out with first impression. Yep. GG. So Galisopod would have been able to knock out whatever happened at the end. Um, what I was playing for was whatever, like, regardless of it being Dog or, uh, or Bomb Snow, I had the priority with first impression, so. Alright, so we actually can get a Pazard here, which is cool. Como's the only lead that gives me something good versus Jolteon. And I prefer damage. I like da damage versus Dawn Fan immediately. Because he just gets the rock, so that's fine. Yeah, so you can go Snorlax, but I can Dragon Tail you out. Or you can just Ice Shard me. Nice, so we get rid of his spinner. Um, I don't understand why I never think about going Espeon, uh, but <laughs> I would love to have rocks on this team, especially for this battle that I have right here. So Earthquake, I think you'd go for Earthquake for sure, because I'm minus two defenses. Okay, uh, if you have Dragon Claw, that's fine too. Sucks now, but I'm forced to click Boom Burst. Decides to give me their Flygon though for some reason. I don't know if I agree with that. Flag on outspeed everything, but Jolteon's gonna give you to come in and just volt switch out. I need a spike. I need damn like I need hazards up. Why is it modest Jolteon? I do not question. It's modest Jolteon and it's hidden power rock. Something. Alright. I can just click first impression now. Get rid of this Jolteon, uh, maybe Aqua Jet on my Lodic or two. Uh, ideally, if the Snorlax comes out and decides to start hitting me, it's Moltres. We'll Jet you. Get Jet. Jet wrecked. No? Is that, is that what Chimpac would have said? That's what Chimpac would have said. I got up a spike just in case you roost. <laughs> Gone. Alright, so. Definitely afraid of Porygon. I'm gonna calm mine up. Hopefully this didn't hit me with a Z. It, if it's Z, I don't think it knocks me out after a calm mine boost, because don't. <sighs> okay, so I messed up here. Um Cause I can go come on. Cause I, basically what I was trying to do was hit Porygon or Snorlax low enough to the point where I could shell smash up a cloister or at least weaken them a cloister. I live one because of Assault Vest, but I deserve to get flinched here. Oh, I didn't get it. Interesting. I deserved it, though. Porygon comes out, gets an attack raise, just playing the scales, and die. That does a lot. Psy Shock. Alright, Bennett, I choose you, buddy pal. And get off this knockoff and try and win 1v1. Why do clan scales <laughs> so much? Don't like that. Alright, we'll roll this right here because you should go for a recover. Or just shadow balls. Alright, the good thing is, okay, so even though it's not working necessarily the way I want it to, you are in range of Cloyster. You are definitely in range of Cloyster, and I can shell smash up on Snorlax and hopefully beat it 1v1. But you're definitely in range of Cloyster. So, get this threat out of here. I guess knockoff doesn't do a lot because I'm underestimating stab and whatnot. I want my Zoroark. I should be using Zoroark. Alright, Snorlax, what set are you? Are you the only thick fat one in this generation? Is there a point in me even shell smashing up? Should I just shouldn't I just Icicle Spear? Two Icicle Spears hits the same as plus two. I guess depending on the Snorlax set. I should find out its set. Uh, why do you leave? I'm gonna look for another one. I'm gonna start bringing in my Espeon now on these rockers. I'm gonna lead off with my Espeon versus this rocker. So Spinner, Life Orb, Stealth Rock, probably Rest Talk, Scarf. Regardless, you don't switch in well to Espeon at all. So I'm gonna get off of you and clicking it. Alright, so that's a hundred, that has to be Thick Fat, right? How do I get double crit? Okay, so he body slam paired me. <laughs> that 
That's a salt vest, man. So I think, assuming this does about the same much, and I don't see uh, a fat berry. If I got off the shell smash right there, I would have been able to outspeed him and 2 KO him. Yeah, good game. But the para literally sealed the deal. <laughs> That's funny. Oh well. Scarf Rotom confirmed. Good to know. Durant's coming in and taking a life orb psychic. Yeah, there's no way you're both scarf this and that, so you're gonna give me this Durant right now. I love not having to deal with Durant. So Ice Squid Spear is looking really good in this. I can set up on nothing. Como though does take the hit. Para is a broken status. I just want to let everybody know that. Para is a broken status indeed. You know, Queen comes out. I don't want you getting up rocks, man. I'm tired of people getting up rocks. Even if you go for Ice Beam, I don't care. I'm just tired of people going for rocks versus me. And what we'll do is, we'll go Swallow. I don't think Swallow knocks out Needle Queen, but it does weaken it to the point of Aqua Jet. And my opponent has a choice whether to uh, set up Hazards or lose Needle Queen, which my opponent chose the uh, latter. What I could do is just go Golisopod now. Aqua Jet up. Why not? I got up a Spike versus Fabio anyway. Yeah, let me Aqua Jet up. If he thinks I'm banned, yeah, there go Fabio, yeah. Spike up is pretty important here. You literally have to be max speed to outspeed me. Nice. Spike up is pretty important for... Uh... Ooh, and you get out of there too, which is pretty cool. Get out. Ooh, it's Gator, I like that. And I get to get out as well. So this gives me my Shell Smash. Like, this is the amp this is the only opportunity to Shell Smash and the Ample opportunity to do so. So I love it. Let's go. Only way you actually hurt me is with Super Power. And if you do, yep. That's game. Yo, the red card giving me the victory. Like, literally giving me the victory right here. Just Ice Cold Spear. Uh, no point in risking missing when this does two at KO. Only, I might as well just make it that. I only have to use it versus this person. Crunch can't even defense drop because of sheer force. But like I said, might as well make it that. The only mod I actually have to use... Uh, Rock Blast versus would be Rotom Heat. You're not faster than me, are you? You're only 298. Yeah, you're nowhere near faster than me. Because even if I'm adamant, 478. Jirachi at base 100 at um, times 1.5. I know that number is 492. I just know that number by heart. Yeah, there's no way you're faster than me. Yeah. But like I said, I just I wanted to use Rock. I pretty much wanted to use or not risk. Or risk as little as possible. I think that's the correct way to say it. I want to risk as little as possible, which is why I decided to Ice Coast Spear the, for Alligator. Had it shown superpower power immediately, I mean, it could have been a bluff. Oh, first Zorak of the day. Wow, you really hate Golisopod. I'm just going to lead it and first impression whatever I see. He also has rocks on Necrozma. Necrozma. And that's it. But yeah, I'm actually just going to first impression whatever it is my opponent leads off with. Uh, only mod that actually beats is Beware. Really cool team, though. Potentially double defog on uh, Decidueye and Flygon. Another game where I could see myself shell smash when he went Cloyster just because my opponent has an Araquanid. How much does Cloyster do to Beware? Beware. Wow. Okay, I guess it doesn't matter with Fluffy, so. Plus two kills. First impressioning you, no matter what you are. Because I actually lose nothing from that. Yeah, red card him into something that's I beat. That's beware. I, I, I'll i take it. I could potentially be faster than you too. I lied. I was not faster and that boy is banded as hell. <laughs> Holy crap, man. Alright. So, Bayonet gets to come out. That has to be banded. The only way it knocked me out. And I get off a knockoff here on anything coming out. Uh, like, Araquanid is my only mod I can Shell Smash up on. And he went in it first, unfortunately. Assault Vest. Why not go Cloyster and just start wrecking through him a little bit? Liquidation ain't gonna do crap. Don't get a defense drop, that way I can shot smash up on you. I'm just do it. Why not? If my opponent opts to stay in, better for me. Scald actually would be annoying. Okay, good. So I should be able to spear here. 
and I'm assuming Spear is going to be able to get rid of the Araquanid, which it will be able to. Nice. Uh, it also gets rid of Beware. I have Ice Shard for Flygon. Scarf Zorak would be annoying. Beware dies, bro. I Trust me, I calc this, man. That's also 100% Beware, so... Yeah, Fluffy does not help you, friend, when there are spears coming from Cloyster. So, Tumon's dead. Still a problem with Zorark, but I do have Como to thankfully deal with that. Go Flygon here. So I can Ice Shard you. Scarf Flygon's actually faster than me. Nikirozma. Okay with that coming out either way. Oh, point ends up forfeiting. Oh, well, cool. I guess he knew I was out of 30 minutes, so... <laughs> anyway, we're gonna leave the live there. Thank you for watching. The last spot was a lot of fun. I actually loved how that one battle showed exactly how it works. But being able to get up a spike and then red carding emergency exiting directly into Cloyster was really cool. I think in that one game. But let me know your guys' thoughts on Zoroark, and I will be having a video with my boy Flaming Victini coming up on that. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye, friends.